YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. SoFi touches $6.69. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. So at the time of this recording, SoFi is sitting at $6.81. But you can see right above me here, down 1.23%. And I want to know, did you guys buy? Did you guys buy? When it got to its low of the day, around $6.69. Uh, I know we kind of talked about this the other day. And you guys know I bought. I told you, once it went under uh, a certain number, I bought some. I really wanted to go under six sixty so I can buy heavier. But I bought a little bit today. Okay. Now, I wanted to show you guys something. Uh, this is website I've been kind of checking out. And it gives its long-term prediction, okay? So if we scroll down, we can see that they're basing this on the last 10 years of SoFi stock movement, okay? So for the year of 2025, they have a prediction of $7.76, uh, which is a 14% gain. And for a banking stock, that's pretty good, all right? Let me know what you think about that. Do you think that there will be some sort of reason while so far I could get to $7.76 um, as a level of support, not just getting there, but staying there, okay? So looking at $7.76 as a low, right? So that's what I'm thinking about. Now, we know that even this year that so far I can go back above $8 again, but the question is, if it did, it will it have a reason to stay above eight dollars? OK, so when I look at these numbers here, I'm looking at kind of worst case scenario. What's the level of support now? Twenty twenty seven. They have the stock at ten dollars and ten cent, which would be a forty eight, a forty eight point four three percent change uh, as of right now. OK, so. Um, you think about uh, everything that goes into, uh, you know, this particular stock is nice, slow, steady growth. And then they have it at the year of 2030 at $14.99. Now, I would be happy with that uh, more than doubling the money that I have in it. But although it's a bank stock, stock I still would like to see a little bit more of a return out of that. Don't know if that's greedy or not, but hey. That's just the way I see it now. Let's go ahead and look at some other things since we're here. All right. So one thing I also would like to see is uh, so far uh, with a with a strong dividend. OK, so in order to get to, you know, that space where you have a, a reliable banking stock, uh, you know, you're there when you're starting to. Uh, give out dividends. Now, right now, uh, so far is not in that space where they're giving out dividends, but I think they have the uh, potential to get there. Now, one thing we have to remember as well is its inception date was just back in 2020. So we're talking about uh, a fairly new publicly traded stock. So from that perspective, uh, when that time comes, when we're able to get a dividend out of this stock, I think at that point it's going to uh, accrue more investors. OK, now, another thing I like about this uh, particular website is that it shows us, uh, you know, the earnings per share history on a graph. And we can see we have been negative for some time. And then finally, this year, we've started to become profitable uh, bringing in looks like two cent per share uh, back in that was reported on J in January. We reported two cent per share uh, in April, which was better than expected. And we were expecting one cent per share. And now we're looking at um, uh, one cent per share uh, as far as this uh, next quarter. OK, so overall, uh, you know, so far is, is looking pretty good. Uh, we like to see more about it as stock. You know, we got to be patient, but I think we'll get there. OK, so overall, I just wanted to touch base with you guys as, as it pertains to uh, so far. Um, 
I think today had its, its opportunities to, to dollar cost average a few shares, um, not giving financial advice, telling you guys, you know, what's on my plate. All right. So I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And we're out, guys. Peace.